click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Data structures are basically classified into two types, primitive data types and non-primitive data types. Primitive data types are also called as built-in data types and non-primitive data types are called as user-defined types. Now we are going to go through the first one. Primitive data types, as the name suggests, they are primitive, built-in, which are provided by the various programming languages. All the programming languages have this built-in data types with them. Now, this store a single value. Primitive data types are usually used to store a single value. Now, examples of this one are integer, float, character, boolean. Let's go one by one. Integer. Integer is what? A number without a decimal point. If you want to store a value without a decimal point, you are going to use integer. Next, float. It just the opposite of integer we can say. Integer is number without decimal point and float is number with decimal point. Next is character. Character is used to store a single value, single character. Just example A, B. These two are treated as different. Only A will be stored. Only B will be stored. So they are defined as a character. Next data type of primitive is Boolean. Boolean represents the logical value. There can only be two logical values, either true or false. You can have either value true or value false, either zero or either one. Next primitive data type, which comes under classification of data structure is pointers. Pointers, one of the most important in case of C. We have learned about the C languages. Data structure can be implemented by C languages. Pointers are used to store the address of the variable. It is not going to store the value of the variable. It is going to store the reference to the variable. That is basically what the address of the variable. Non-primitive data types. These are user-defined data types. As the name suggests, these are implementation based on user choice. The first type which comes under this one is array. Now what do you mean by array? Array is a collection of similar kinds of data items. Each data has a unique index. Array index starts with zero. This is called as subscripting. Each array items can be accessed through its subscript. Example, let's take an array of integer, int, age, array we are going to define. Now how to access the elements of array of age? Right from the first one, we are going to start with index number zero. So to access the first element of the array, I'm going to write age square brackets. Inside that square bracket, I'm going to write zero. This give me the first element of the array. Next data type is link list. Now this link list is a kind of a node structure. We define a node in that node is divided into two subparts. First subpart is called data and next subpart which consists of address. Now which address? This address is the pointer to the next node. So uh, each node has two values. First is data and next is the pointer to the next node. So I'm going to have the link list which consists of two parts, data and next node. So I'm going to store data and also the address of the next variable or I can say the next node which I'm going to refer. Next data type is stack. Stack follows last in first out method. Last in first out format we can say. Last in first out is what? The element which is inserted last is the first element to be inserted out. Let's take the example of a stack. We keep a pile of books, piles of disks, piles of coins. So the last coin which are going to put up is the first element which we are going to remove. Next come is Q. Q is just the opposite of stack. In stack, we have last in first term. But in Q, we have first in first term. The element which inserted first is the first element which is to be coming out. Next data structure, user defined data structure is Q. Q is just the opposite of stack. Stack follows last in first term. But Q follows first in first term. Let's say one of you are standing in the queue at a ticket counter. 
you wish the first person standing is the first person getting the ticket and is the first person to be removed from the queue. So stack is last in first out and queue is first in first out. Next data structure is nonlinear data structures. Nonlinear data structure under two parts trees and graph. Trees are multi-level data structure following hierarchical relationships among its elements. The last node is called as leaf node and the topmost node is called as the root node. So if you look properly it's a kind of an upside down tree where we start from root and go till the branches. The next element structure is graphs. Graphs are pictorial representation of set of elements. They do not follow the kind of tree structure. Now what the difference between graph and tree? Graph can have a cycle. Tree does not have a cycle. 